this A5 clipper seems like it's um, designed to be, you know, a more industrial um, and uh, do it yourself as far as, um, you know, repairing, maintenance. repairing and maintenance because this can, these uh, comes off and there's um, brushes in here that you can replace yourself. Um, besides oiling this one, there's a, it also comes with grease so you can grease on the inside. Um, this model and the instruction says, the A6 says, don't tamper with the clipper. Um, the instructions are just for oiling and um, cleaning this with a brush. So um, this one seems like um, the user has a little more flexibility with keeping the life of the clipper longer. But and uh, um, this is A5 has been used by a professional groomer here. Um, it gets replaced um, every year to year and a half, uh, and we haven't had this one long enough to give you the length of time for that one. But this one, the A5, definitely a year to year and a half with. Um, you know, six to eight hours of use every day. Okay, now we're gonna do a little bit of grooming on leaf here. This is the A5. This is the A6, we'll start on the one. low setting. Right. You would definitely want to use the high, even though you have to watch your how hot your blade gets, because it does more strokes per minute and would give you a better finished look. Oh, does it feel hot right now? No. It does not feel hot right now. It takes a while for it to heat up. Okay. Thanks, Leafy. I think the Oster A6 clippers are fine if you're grooming your own dog. I just groomed Leaf with them. Uh, had them running at full speed for about 10 minutes. The blade got warm, but not hot. They were comfortable to hold and easy to use, but because they are smaller, my hand got tired. And hand fatigue is something that professional groomers need to be concerned about. But I think for in-home use, they're fine. I don't know how industrial they are or how long they'll hold up, but we will find out. 